hi guys welcome to my channel my name is olga and um welcome to the returning subscribers and welcome to to the new to everyone that's new um so today i'm going to give a life update because i've been away for a while actually i'm saying a while but it's been months since i last um posted a video here um so i've missed you guys so much <laughs> i hope you missed me too so so i'm just going to give you a life update about everything that's been going on yeah so if you see me looking down it's because i wrote a like, brief note so that i don't like drift away and keep like, clubbing so the first update is that i graduated yay i graduated um and i had my graduation and it was great actually i was so happy because I saw happy because like um on my graduation i just kept on thinking because at the start of the degree i just told god like god i'm starting this with you and in jesus name like it will be great like all things will work out for me and everything that i do i will flourish in this degree and actually that's what happened so i was really really happy and excited although um during that time like i also felt a bit stressed because my parents my parents had to come and attend my graduation, but then they couldn't come because of the visa delay. And that that really affected me. Like it was like I'm excited, but then at the same time I'm a bit sad that they didn't attend. They weren't able to come actually because the visa really delayed. And which wasn't nice at all. Like we tried making calls and doing all that. But anyway, at the end of the day they came later on, but I still miss them on my graduation but my friends attended shout out to them and um yeah and then one of my friend's parents stepped in as my parents and i was just so grateful for like god giving me great people because yeah vanessa nightingale i love you so much yeah and my sister also came which i felt like i felt like she filled the gap of family because um if she wasn't there i think i would have been really like more sad than i was already so so yeah, after the graduation, it's like adulthood hits. Adulthood hit me. I felt like, okay, now it seems like I'm graduating into adulthood. You get? So I always knew that I wanted to do a master's degree. But then I applied and the universities were taking long to get back to me. Then one of the universities got back to me and they were asking me for IELTS. Then I told them I've been in the UK for five years. But then still they were like, oh, we need IELTS. What? Like, I just think it was kind of like an excuse. But then, um, so I kept on waiting for the rest of them and they took so long and some of them, their communication was really bad because I kept on calling them because um, my visa had to end. So I graduated in July and my visa had to end in October. So during that time I was, I was working, like I continued with my job in a school as a teaching assistant. And of course, by this time, yeah, my salary was increased because I was now like a, a high level teaching assistant. But then I wasn't qualified as a teacher yet because to qualify in the UK, you, ha you need to have, um, you need to do a PGCE. After your degree, you do a PGCE to give you teacher qualification. So I wasn't qualified. But then um, I get on working. Then at some point, while I'm still waiting, <sighs> I just know the wait was long. The wait was stressful. But in all that, actually i don't know if anyone is, is in a waiting season i feel like most people like when they go through all this they feel like oh my god adulthood is hard like like when you go through these waiting seasons you feel like okay now we've summed up the whole of adulthood just by only this but one thing that i would say is that when god is on your side things will always work out things will always work out and even after you wait like trust me like you have the joy of the lord even during your wait yeah because during that time i had to look for accommodation accommodation is really like um kind of, it's kind of hard to get like in london because there's a shortage like of accommodation and then there's so many people looking for accommodation but then at the end of the day i got accommodation miraculously which was like by god's grace i'm telling you god was in this journey anyway while i was still waiting then i changed my I changed my visa from the student visa to the um, post study work visa. And then from the post study, then while I was still waiting for them to get back to me, schools were in holidays by that time. I think half time or something like that. Yeah, so I was home pretty much most of the time. And then later they gave me the post study work visa. Like I got accepted. Like I got given the postgraduate work visa. 
but then after that now imagine i got my postgraduate work visa in like in the same week <laughs> i got i got it like imagine in the same week then at the end of that same week i got my offer my conditional offer for my master's degree and <laughs> honestly i had mixed feelings i was like i'm not sure i don't know but then at the same time i just thought like if, the fact that god put it on my heart that means it was the right thing for me to do because clearly like about like working and all that because my degree um wouldn't qualify me as a teacher that means i was just being a teaching assistant and imagine spending two years while being a teaching assistant like really like i felt like it was going to be like a waste of time for me so i felt like do it, like changing back to a student visa would be the best so i changed back to a student visa and meanwhile all this process all these um changing visas and applying for unis i did it myself so in case anybody needs guidance about that um put your questions in the in the comment section and then i'll, I'll reply them and then you can put any more questions in the comment section still i'll be making more videos um I hope to actually post more and more videos and to be more consistent and then i'll also put my instagram handle in the description box and then you guys can like follow me and ask me questions yeah okay so that i won't disappear again from you guys anyway then um when i got my my conditional offer it was in a masters of occupational therapy and that's what i'm doing right now and i had to move across the wow imagine i moved from london all the way to the north so right now i'm in Teesside university doing my master's in occupational therapy which i'm really happy with like the people are so nice everything is different and yeah of course i've gotten some culture shocks because london is way different from most of the cities yeah but then um all to, like all in all i feel like all things are working out now so that's why i'm back because i'm, I'm coming with all the positive energy yeah um anyway guys thank you for watching please put all your questions give me some video suggestions in the comment section i'll be so happy to make videos about about all your questions and about everything yeah and um feel free to text me on my instagram to ask questions and yeah and you can if you're new please go and watch all my previous videos as well i'll be glad yeah all right bye